If you chip a tooth, if you break one off, that chunk of metal can be floating around in the transmission. It can get jammed between two other gears, which will lock the whole thing up. What can you do? You can, of course, wait that few seconds for all of that inertia to go away. Or, like I'm suggesting, just blip the synchro. This is the synchro for second gear, which is to the back. Third gear, or high, is forward. All you do, blip the synchro, just like that. It eats up that rotation, and then, of course, you can grab first or reverse almost instantly. Put that back in neutral there. If I do that, I have fully shifted into second gear. That's what it looks like. And then if I'm back to neutral here, I can push it forward. Now that is high gear, which is actually a one-to-one -one ratio. It runs straight through the transmission. The input shaft is spinning exactly the same rate as the output shaft. No torque is really being transmitted through the cluster gear. So that's what's happening inside the transmission. And that's why blipping that synchro actually stops the rotation so you can grab first or reverse without any issue.